Greetings and welcome to the Fan Perspective. I'm your host Nathan Lyle here with some off-season news from the WNBA. Uh, Sandy Brandello has been named the head coach of the Phoenix Mercury. And for those of you who the first question in your head is what happened to us, Pennell? Didn't they like him? He did a pretty great job. They worked well, well under his system. They had an upset in the, they upset the link, the Los Angeles Sparks in the playoffs. I mean, hell, I was expecting him to be named the head coach, but and so I was a little shocked to see this. But for those of you who, like me, didn't know, I looked it up and it turns out he said that he wanted to go back to coaching in college if they would have, if he could find something there. So that's that. And now Sandy Brandello has been named the head coach, who for those of you who don't know, she's actually been a coach for the last nine seasons, eight of them an assistant coach. She was a head, the head coach of the Silver Stars for one season in 2010. They did make the playoffs that year. Didn't get very far. <laughs> didn't get very far at all. And I think my first impression when I'm reading this is that, well, obviously, they've got enough talent on that roster. They're going to be a formidable opponent. Um, like I said, she doesn't have much head coaching experience. A lot of years as an assistant. It's, it's, so it's hard to really gauge how well she'll do at the he helm. You know, she had one year with the Silver Stars, which was a completely different roster than what she's walking with right now. And... I don't, definitely don't think they've taken a step backwards. I just don't think it's a gigantic leap, leap forward. I'm not 100% like sold on her ability to lead. But that, but with that in mind, I think she is a great person. I wish her all the best of luck. And I think Phoenix should still be at least a decent team. Uh, they definitely have a legitimate playoff shot. But the league's only going to get tougher next season with you know, the return of Sue Bud and Lauren Jackson for, for a Seattle team that already made the playoffs without them anyways. And now you've got the development of a lot of young playmakers in Tulsa. You know, Raquana Williams, Liz Cambage, you know, Skylar Diggins. She should only get better with time. you got a lot of... The, the league is going to be so tough next year. In the Western Con Conference, all six of those teams are more than capable of winning a championship with a full healthy roster. And so it's hard to see so it's hard to say exactly how this will end out. But anyways, the article articles in the link in the link in the description. And also wanted to let you know I that when I saw this, I don't know, something triggered in me and I was like, you know, I need more WNBA gear because the only thing I have is this shirt. So I got online and I bought a hat and a few shirts, just a few. Cost me 150 bucks. Why? Why are you so expensive? But yeah, I just felt like I needed more stuff on my body to show off my WNBA pride. So it had to be done. I mean, this is like I said, this is the only thing I own, and I haven't even worn this in like two months. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> 